Because your mind is preoccupied by the thoughts that capture your mind. So the system, this marking system, when it says right hand and forehead, yes, there's going to be a physical application that can go in your right hand or forehead. But more than just that, symbolically, a person is surrendering over their authority and giving their mind over to its control. And this is why the Bible said that there's going to be scoffers in the end times and they're going to be rejecting the whole notion and the whole idea. And many people that I have talked to, I have showed them these facts and these details right there before them. And yet there they sit, blinded to the reality and the truth. They could not see that which was right before them. And the reason why is because it's not just the mark, it's the system of the mark. Because right now what the devil has been doing for the last few decades is getting people entirely dependent upon the system of the mark of the beast. And once you become dependent on something, it's hard to get rid of something that you're dependent on. Amen? It's like uh, your cell phones. How many have a cell phone today? Young people today think that, oh, if I don't have my cell phone, I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't live. I grew up in a generation there was no cell phones. Amen? There were only house phones. We never even considered cell phones. And when the cell phones came out, it was a commodity. It was not something that you needed. It was a commodity. It was something of necessity. No longer. Today, there's a dependability on this technology. And that's the exact goal of the enemy, to get everyone dependent on the system. Everyone say, the system. Okay. They keep the commandments and the faith of Jesus. And the what? And the faith, dealing that their relationship with Jesus is present. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto them, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. Which what? Die in the Lord. This is dealing with when this system is going to be executed and introduced. Remember, he causes all both small and great. He causes, he forces. It says, here's the patience of the saints, those that are keeping the commandments, those that have the faith of Jesus Christ. He says, I hear the voice. Blessed are the dead. Why? Because there are going to be those that are going to be martyred because of this system. They're going to have to give up their lives. I'm not participating in that system. I'm not taking that mark. I'm not going to worship that, that image, that object. The Bible says, here are those that are going to be blessed. Because when they die in the Lord, everyone say in the Lord. Notice it says in the Lord. They didn't just die. They died in the Lord. They stayed saved. From henceforth, yea, saith the Spirit, is what the Holy Spirit, that they may rest from their labors. The word labors there, their distresses, their toils, implying all regards to the system, and their works do follow them. Their what? Their works are going to follow them. So it sounds to me that God's church is going to be conditioned. It's going to be fit. It's going to be ready for the marathon in the end times. That's why we've got to do our spiritual training. That we don't get out of shape. Because don't just think that, oh, when, they, when this system is introduced and it's right around the corner. Don't think when, when the system is introduced, oh, don't worry, Pastor Otano. When that system is introduced, I won't take it. No, 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 no. You're not going to be able to be a sprinter and facing the marathon. Sprinters run sprints. They don't run marathons. Because they don't have the conditioning to cross the line. Man, this is good teaching. We have got to be fit. We have got to train. 
We can't allow anyone or anything to seduce us and rob us of being spiritually fit. Incidentally, tomorrow's Thursday, right? It's, um, what day is that tomorrow? Fasting day, that's right. So let's make sure we stay responsible. Someone says, oh my goodness, Pastor. Is there any escape to this? Absolutely there is. It's being in church. It's being saved and staying saved. It's being spiritually conditioned. He has prepared us for this great moment that's going to take place. That we're going to have that strength and it's going to be a dimension of the supernatural in all of its entirety. Now let's look at here.